In this video, we bring you the LCB tester's genuine experience with CloudBet Casino. Our tester went through the entire procedure, wanting to see the quality of services in this crypto-friendly online casino. CloudBet Casino is a non-US friendly betting shop that operates on cryptocurrencies. Thanks to strategic partnership with a large network of top performing content providers, its gaming portfolio displays a diversity of genres. Aside from a solid selection of games, the operator offers a variety of promotional campaigns. There is also a loyalty club with five levels of advancement and diversity of incentives, depending on the player's level. Before we share all the valuable findings with you, take a look at the crucial moments of the CloudBet Casino investigation. Tester of the day, Maria S. Date of registration, July 22, 2021, at 12.48 p.m. Deposit of 200 US dollars worth of Bitcoin, made on July 22, 2021, at 12.54 p.m. and at 13.01 p.m. KYC procedure completed on July 22, 2021, via ID card and face recognition. Withdrawal of $63.70 worth of Bitcoin, requested on July 23, 2021, at 11.56 a.m. The tester was able to withdraw $45.97 worth of Bitcoin due to a mandatory network transaction fee of $70.61 worth of Bitcoin on the said day. Tester received $45.97 worth of Bitcoin after a network transaction fee of $70.61 was deducted on the same day, July 23, 2021. A confirmation from Coinbase arrived at 11.59 am and one from a casino a minute later. Stay tuned for an insightful report on CloudBet Casino. On July 22, 2021, the tester visited CloudBet Casino and registered. To become a member, she entered her email address, password, and confirmed the address. After this step, she made a couple of adjustments to complete her profile. Having finished this, she went on to have the account verified. The tester selected SMS verification, so she received a six-digit code to the number she submitted. After quick and simple registration, the tester decided to make a deposit on the same day, July 22. Her choice was Bitcoin, so she went to Coinbase to authorize the device and then make the desired transaction. The tester wanted to fund the account with $200 worth of Bitcoin. According to the cashier, the minimum deposit amount is 0.0001 Bitcoin, while there is no maximum deposit limit. She typed in the desired amount and received a confirmation mail from Coinbase. Before immersing herself in the operator's wealthy portfolio, the tester went through the ID verification process via the Verification tab on July 22. To verify the identity, a player is required to submit a passport, driving license or ID card. She submitted the front and the back side of her ID card, after which she had to go through a face recognition process and finalize the verification. When in this phase of verification, punters have two options – to receive the code via email or scan a QR code. The tester selected email and the notification that the profile was verified arrived in a timely manner. When analyzing the terms, the tester didn't encounter any information related to the minimum withdrawal amount. To find out, she got in touch with the live chat support agent, which explained that the minimum sum to cash out is 0.0001 Bitcoin. The tester also inquired about the withdrawal procedure. According to the agent to make a withdrawal, the tester has to click on the withdraw button, enter the desired amount of Bitcoin and the email address. The request is usually processed within 24 hours. 
Also, to be able to cash out, a player needs to play through 100% of the deposit. When asking where to keep track of the playthrough progress, the agent said the support team is available 24-7 to provide an answer on this. On July 22nd, her playing session began with Respin Circus by ELK Studios, after which she launched the Legacy of Oz by Triple Edge Studios and Microgaming. She quickly changed her mind and decided to explore Elite of Evil, the first quest by GameV. The next in line was Book of 99 by Relax Gaming. Mr. Macau by Petsoft. Bottle Wishes by Nucleus Gaming. Book of Darkness by Petsoft. Hyper Gold by Gameburger Studios and Joker Leprechauns by Kalamba Games, where she had a couple of significant wins. After that, she proceeded to Fruit Rush by Gameomat, then Bangkok Dreams by Kalamba Games. Tiger's Claw by Betsoft. Fire Drake's Fortune by Kalamba Games. Nitropolis by ELK Studios and Bottle Wishes by Nucleus Gaming. On July 23rd, 2021, the next day she had another playing session. Joker or Leprechauns by Kalamba Games was her first choice, followed by Respin Circus by ELK Studios and Bar Bar Black Sheep by Microgaming. Later on, she played Hyper Gold by Gameburger Studios and wanted to check out Golden Castle by Phantasma Games, but she gave up. Instead, the tester returned to Fire Drake's Fortune by Kalamba Games. Her next choice was Booming 7 Deluxe by Booming Games, and in the end, 10,000 Wishes by Alchemy Gaming. Having completed the gameplay, she discovered that the withdrawal option was finally unlocked, so the tester decided to make a cash-out request. On July 23rd, she sent a request to withdraw $63.70 worth of Bitcoin. The casino states that the minimum withdrawal limit for Bitcoin transaction is 0.0001 Bitcoins. When entering the desired amount, she was notified that the available balance was somewhat lower than the one displayed in the cashier. The conflicting sums were actually due to a mandatory processing fee of $70.61 worth of Bitcoin. According to the terms, the operator does reserve the right to charge up to 5% on deposits and withdrawals. However, the fee charged to our testers' withdrawal appeared higher than 5%. On the other hand, the withdrawal box in the cashier states that the network transaction fee is 0.0005424 bitcoins. This cashier information becomes available to players only after they have qualified for withdrawals. Therefore, the tester received $45.97 worth of Bitcoin on July 23rd. Confirmations from both the casino and Coinbase arrived, marking the end of our tester's journey through CloudBet Casino. Based on the tester's personal experience, we can say that CloudBet Casino performed well in crucial segments. However, some important bits of info are missing from the terms and conditions. 
through 100% playthrough represents the industry standard, still it should be mentioned in terms. Especially because in some cases casinos may impose even higher requirements. There's no info on the minimum withdrawal sum either. Also, the operator doesn't have any handy feature, such as a progress bar, to follow the playthrough percentage. Luckily, the support agent provided the needed answers. We hope this video brought you some valuable insights into CloudBet Casino's overall service. Share your impressions with us in the comments below and stay tuned for more online casino test reports. Don't forget to read terms and conditions and gamble responsibly.